Hi and welcome to LB0 Fox Indian Norwegian Ham Ventures and today we're going to continue on the LoRa APRS theme. Um, I talked a little bit about it in my previous video and then I plan to do a video on how to set up the Digipeter iGate but uh, LB5JJ Bob did that over on his channel. So um, I'll leave a link for that up there so you can see that. I'll also leave it down in the description. And what we're going to talk about today is how to set up your LoRa APRS tracker. This one is in a nice pink 3D printed case, which doesn't disappear. Um, which is about as easy as Bob showed with his, um, his Digipeter video. But me and Bob agreed upon him doing the Digipeter video and me doing the uh, tracker video. So with no further ado, let's uh, jump on over to the web browser and show you how easy and how fast you can set this up. And just one more thing, you need a USB cable and you need to connect that to your computer. So let's go ahead and do that like this. Now it's connected. So we're going to leave this down on the desk and um, I'll switch over to the uh, web browser and show you how easy it is to set it up. And uh, we start out at uh, Ricardo Guzman's uh, GitHub page here. He's got a GitHub page for the tracker and the uh, iGate Digipeter. But what we're going to take a look at today is the tracker. So, um, and don't worry about the address. I'm going to link that down in the, uh, in the description here so you can find it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down a little while until we find the web flasher installer is here. Click the here. Then this one pops up and uh, you've seen that in my previous video though. So we're going to choose the uh, tracker we got and we got a T-beam. Um, the version, take the newest one and we're going to do first flash or factory reset. Then we're going to click the flash firmware and it's going to pop up to select um, the COM port. And um, if you're not sure which COM port to select, I'm going to show you that. We're going to right click here and choose Device Manager. And I'm just going to drag that into the right screen here. And this is ridiculously small. I know that, but I'll talk you through it though. Uh, click the ports. And uh, as far as I can see, this is com port 10 this one here let's just double check that we'll unplug it and com port 10 is gone and we'll plug it back in and com port 10 is here so it's com port 10 so we're going to click the flash firmware and select com port 10 click connect it's going to connect to the tracker. We're going to choose install TTGO T-Beam version 1 factory. We're going to click erase device. Click next. Install. And this is going to take about two minutes, so I'm going to speed that up for you. And once this is done, it'll pop up with an installation complete over there on the screen. And then you'll have, and I'll overlay this on the screen, the display of the unit will say which Wi-Fi to connect to and the IP address. So um, I'm going to do that really quick and we'll be back with the setup. And once we're connected, we're just going to exit out of this. And uh, we're connected to the network, which is called LoRa Tracker AP. And then we're going to... Hang on. 192.168.1.4. Sorry, that's the wrong one. If I can read at the display at the same time, it's dot four dot one. And then we're up with the 
setup page here and I'm going to embiggen it a little bit so you can actually see what's going on. So we got to enter our call sign here and we got to do this three times because we have different icons for walk-in, for um, car or for bicycle. Uh, so we're going to enter LB0FI-7. We're going to do the same here. And we're going to do the last one here. And then we're going to leave the smart beacon active because that changes um, how often it reports depending on how fast you're moving. So if you're slow moving, the rate of reporting will be slower and you'll save battery. Uh, station config, we can choose to send a comment after uh, 10 beacons. We're going to leave that path as 1-1 uh, and uh, fixed beacon rate of 15 minutes so everything is good there we're not going to change anything of that display we're going to leave it like it is as for LoRa we're going to leave the frequencies as they are uh, unless you live in a country where you need to change these but these are the frequencies we're going to have here. Uh, we're not going to have any weather telemetry, so we're going to leave that. We can enable Bluetooth in order to hook up your phone with APRS FI for iPhone or APRS Droid for, for Android. I got an iPhone, so I'm going to choose iPhone here. Uh, I don't want to send the voltage uh, in the telemetry, so I'll leave that. Um, We can have it as a power off mode. We're not going to do anything with that now. We're not going to use any pens for LEDs or beepers, so we're going to leave that. We're not going to use an external amp, so we're going to leave the PTT trigger. Uh, you can enter your super, super secret um, Winlink password. Because yes, you can check your Winlink account with this device if you're connected to a digipeter nearby and if we want to access the wi-fi access point um we can change the password the super secret password that comes with it we're not going to do that now we're just going to press save then it's going to save it and reboot the um uh, the uh tracker and once that's done you're going to see a screen which looks somewhat like this, except it's not going to flicker. It's just that the uh, <laughs> that the screen refresh rate and the camera refresh rate is a little bit different. But this is what it's going to look like. And boom, we're up and running, actually. That's how simple it is. And that is how simple it is to get up and running with LoRa APRS. And I'm going to leave a link down below to both the tracker board and the digipeter board that I'm using. And I'm also going to leave links for uh, the web flasher. So it's going to be pretty easy for you to start. And the links to the boards, just so you know it, they they are affiliate links, um, which means you don't pay more, but I get a small cut of it to help finance the channel. If this was helpful for you, click that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. And um, also, if you're not subscribed and you want to see more videos about LoRa APRS and other amateur radio subjects, click that subscribe button. If you want to support the channel a little bit, there are a couple of links down below. And until next time, see you down the bands. See you in my next video. 7-3, guys.